What's up guys? Alright, so um I'm on this UV mod uh from the Who's Mat Get Hub. There's the address. So this is really cool. You don't need the um thing to flash this. You'll come onto this page and you'll select what you want. If you want the um RSI S meter, battery voltage readout, or you can have a spectrum analyzer or some other stuff. Um you can only pick one thing because there's not enough memory. There's a text messaging thing on here. There's the Pong game, battery icon, custom boot screen, um, the font. You can change the font, a negative display, uh, dis disable frequency copy timeout, disable TX completely, backlight multiplier. Uh, there's a menu string on here, increase mic gain, Roger Beep. You can change the tone of it. Uh, I don't know what SWD port is. It says if you don't know what it is, don't mess with it. <laughs> um, simple mode, extended band 1 down to 18 megahertz and band 7 up to 1300. So uh, this radio will go from 18 megahertz to 1.3 gig. And, um, you know, it's not going to work amazing, but it'll work. So then you have, you can change frequency steps. Um... No frequencies, you can change those. And then um, you get AM, RX on all bands. You can change the FM frequencies if your area is different. Air copy, LCD contrast. And then so then you go over to here and then you um, will click patch the firmware and then you might want to save it and then you click flash directly and then it'll pull up your COM port. And this has to be done in a Chromium based web browser so opera um chrome and the microsoft edge will work just fine so and then literally you click over here and then it flashes to the radio pretty quickly so you can see mine says that so i just wanted to just make this quick video for you guys um so this is pretty cool and it will let you you know pick um you can do a patch for all radios, the patch for the K5, K6, <clears throat> or the uh, 5R Plus. So this is pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna try it out. There's so many different things out here for this radio. And although, you know, it's not the cleanest radio in the world for transmission, um, the capabilities that it can do are pretty cool. And the reason that most of us are buying these aren't really to talk on them anyways. So, um, I have found that maybe the receiver isn't quite as good as some of my other radios, even on the ham bands, um, like uh, this K-Sun over here, I think is a little bit better received. Um, the TalkPod, I think, is a little better received. But it's, it's pretty good, and it's actually uh, much more of a rugged radio than a lot of other radios. So for $29, it's a steal. This one is 32 or 35 so... Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'm going to do some more videos on this in a bit.